Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, it, um, well, let, let's spend the, let, let's make sure that the person that deserves our respect, admiration, attention does get it. Kyle Beach was the, the player revealed as um, the victim in all of this. He, uh, he did his interview with Rick Westhead on TSN. It's a very tough watch if you have not watched it. If you have watched it, um, and you get probably how we're kind of feeling about all of this. Um, I, I mean, I my takeaways were the same as everybody else. The fact that he is, and by the way, at this particular point, unless I have missed something, he is the only person that has apologized to the 16-year-old in Michigan that was another Brad Aldridge victim in all of this. The only person that has apologized to him has been Kyle Beach. There has been no one else that has even brought up that part of this. Um, so again, a bunch of shame. So, uh, um, and the fact that he had to apologize, that he he apologized and he had the courage that he, he deserved, there's no apologies needed from Kyle Beach. If any, but the NHL hockey, we all failed Kyle Beach. We owe him an apology. We owe the 16 year old victim in Michigan an apology. We are the ones that should be saying, I'm sorry. The last person in all of this that needs to be saying I'm sorry is Kyle Beach. Yep, yep. Um, that was that that was the hardest part of that interview for me uh, was hearing him and seeing him break down and uh, apologize to that kid because it's not his fault. He did ev- he did he did everything he could uh, realistically um, and w- within his mental state at that point, being rejected and being felt like. He, he, he said he felt like nothing. He felt absolutely worthless in that moment. And the, the moments that he's, uh, he's felt outside, like after that too. So uh, yeah, that, that it, that's one person. Kyle Beach should not be apologizing to anybody here. I cuff and um, there, like I said, there's so many people who have to, they, they need to talk further about this, have press conferences, Talk from the heart and not lawyer bullshit. Yeah. And like no, no script, no scripts, or maybe have some bullet points that you want to, but show some a genuine emotion. You literally fucked up a kid. You, you, you fucked up a bunch of like more, more than, uh, more than one person, uh, Kyle beach and, uh, John, uh, John Doe too. I think that's what uh, they're calling him. The 16 year old kid. Um, and, it's it's not just upper management. Um, it's not just the NHL. It's 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 your 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 brethren, um, the the people who should be there for you as far as a team, a team goes. But you had the entire hockey team, 2010, Chicago Blackhawks. Everybody knew what happened. Verbally abused multiple times by uh, coaching staff, by um, medical, or I, I, don't know, I don't know if it was medical, but to, not just the coaching staff, but um, uh, media and by his own players. That is completely unacceptable. And it, it makes my skin crawl. It, like it, yeah. and I, I'm, I know everybody else is in an uproar about this, but people need to be losing jobs. People need to be getting um, uh, like sewered for this. 100%. Seeing that emotion coming out of that man last night and this morning, well, I watched it this morning, but last night, it, it literally breaks my heart, man. I can't, it, it, oh, so angry. And like, I can't, I can't imagine, I cannot imagine how his, his, his family's felt about this, let alone himself. Cause it, he, he said in the interview that his mom cried for days yeah. because she yeah. felt like she was, she should have been the one who was protecting him, and that's fucking bullshit. Donald Fear, yeah. you deserve to lose your job. That's yeah. fucking yeah. terrible. Um, I'm I'm gonna read this statement from Gary Bettman, just yeah. and then I I've got something to say on this part as well. 
And we may be a little bit all over the map here, but I think there's an, an emotion and so much has happened at this point. But this is uh, just was just released from Gary Bettman. The National Hockey League agrees with the decision tonight by Joel Quenville to resign his duties as head coach of the Florida Panthers. In his former role as Chicago Blackhawks head coach, Mr. Quenville was among several former member, members of the club's senior leadership group who mishandled the 2010 sexual assault claim by former player Kyle Beach against the club's then video coach, Brad Aldrich. And following a meeting with Mr. Quenville, that took place this afternoon in my office. All parties agree that it was no longer appropriate that he continue to serve as Florida's head coach. I admire Kyle Beach for his courage in coming forward and appalled that he was so poorly supported upon him making his initial claim and then in the 11 years since. And so I'm sorry for all he has endured. We thank the Panthers organization for working with us to ensure that, that a thorough process was followed. Given the result, there is no need for any... Oh my gosh, I'm just about to read. This is ridiculous. There yeah. is no need for any further action by the NHL regarding Mr. Quenville at this time. However, should we wish to re-enter the league in some capacity in the future, I will require a meeting with him in advance in order to determine the appropriate conditions under which such new employment might take place. I'm sorry, this is unacceptable, and I think Gary Bettman should lose his job. Yep. I. This is unbelievable. This is an embarrassment. This is an absolute embarrassment that Gary Bettman decided that Joel Quenville does not deserve any other punishment after what this guy has went through. Gary Bettman needs to be fired into the sun right now. Unacceptable. Unbelievable. Right. This is poor leadership. He, I'm, this is uh, unacceptable. Gary Bettman is uh, employed by the owners of uh, the, uh, the the hockey, uh, every team in the hockey uh, NHL, their National Hockey League. Um, every single owner needs to be taken uh, back by this and needs to be taking action right now, too, in order for a suitable punishment for everybody who's been involved. The fact that Bettman is saying that uh, Quenville, uh, if he wants to return, he's going to have a meeting about it. That shouldn't even be in a question. Should be zero, a, a zero chance of him coming back. Let alone once again, everybody else who's fucking involved with this. I, yeah. I, I know he's a lawyer, and lawyers they need to do what they need to do to protect themselves and protect their jobs and protect uh, the the people that they are employed by, employed employed by. Um, I, I just I, I don't understand, and this is where watching hockey tonight was hard for me. Yeah, I couldn't I, I couldn't get into it for the first period. It got better throughout the game, but it was just like such a somber note. I, I just yeah, I, I don't know yeah. what what need like I, we obviously know what needs to happen. It's just, it just it's speechless. It's just dumbfounded, speechless um, emotion coming from me right now.